Hey, so I've now been to 21 countries and I've never paid a dollar for packing my luggage because I travel with one bag. I've been all around the world with this one bag, the Osprey Porter 46. And it's the best bag I'd say for digital nomads, uh, people who just wanna keep a minimalist lifestyle while they travel, and it's an excellent bag. I'm gonna show you exactly everything that I pack inside the bag and how I managed to travel the world with just one little bag. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the Porter 46, and I think Osprey is probably, like, for budget bags, Osprey is the best. It's not an expensive bag. I've got a link down below so you can buy it, and if you buy anything in this video, I also get a little bit of money from commission. But check it out, check out this bag. So we've got locks on here, which is really great. So when you're traveling, you can keep your stuff more secure at least. It has these nice compression straps. So the great thing about the Osprey is that instead of going vertical, it goes out like a turtle. It goes, it goes out this way. So the more stuff you put in it, the fatter it gets, which is really great because I've actually never been checked by security or by the, you know, the people that weigh the bags. They've never once asked me to weigh my Osprey bag ever. And back here you can see you've got some, some decent straps. They're not the best straps. They kind of, uh, dig into my shoulder a little bit if I'm traveling for a long time, but this bag is really not made for like hiking through the forest or anything. It's made mostly from going from the airport to your hostel or your hotel or whatever. But you can actually strap these away. You can put these straps away inside the bottom of the bag. These, these all fold inside here, and then you can take these and close it and actually cover up uh, you can stuff these straps, you unhook them, sorry, you unhook them here and you stuff them inside the bag and it then turns into a duffel. You've got a duffel and you can get an alternative strap to carry it like a duffel, which I've never used this as a duffel, but I use this handle all the time. It has really, really great handles. The handles are super soft. They have a great grip. They don't dig into your hands and they're really useful. Up here you've got We've got some sunglasses and I keep toilet paper in here because you always want to carry as much toilet paper as possible when you're traveling in funny countries that don't have toilet paper in their bathrooms. And let's take a look at what's inside. So starting here, this is my miscellaneous pouch. This is where I keep everything from like my hip sack, some hot sauce, you know, you gotta have your hot sauce. You always want to have some sort of warmth, something to keep you warm on bus rides, especially around Mexico or Asia or Thailand, where they crank the AC way up. You know, your nipples will freeze and fall right off. That's how cold these are. So I've always got that to keep me warm. And a little day sack. You know, sometimes I just want to go. Everything I have in my bag, I try to keep it as light as possible because weight is very important. Because with the, if you go overweight, one, it hurts your back, and two, airlines might just not let you on. So everything I have, I try to get stuff I can roll up, fold up, make it small, make it light. That's just for when I wanna carry some extra stuff like uh, a notebook or anything else. And then that space is good for anything else you wanna put in there. You've got this compartment here, which has a little storage compartment, like a nice little, uh, sack. I just keep my padlocks in here, sometimes my, my chargers. And in here you got spaces for pens. And I keep my Kindle in here. Kindle is necessary for me when I'm traveling because I read a lot. I'm a nerd. And everything that I have in my life, all the success, all the freedom, I owe to books. If you're not reading, you're a dum-dum. Read books. They're amazing. They'll change your life. Uh, of course, I've got a little hook out here. It's got some hooks here so you can hang your sandals, get a carabiner, and, and you can wear those when you're in stinky hostels. Here's the big sack here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start getting into what's inside. But if you see here, this is my day bag. This is how amazing this Osprey bag is. Inside, I have a full-size backpack that I actually use when I'm in a city. So I could have got I could have got, it's a nice bag too, it's a Samsonite. I could have got myself a really lightweight day bag. I could have got a really like small day bag, but I like having a nice sturdy day bag because I carry electronics. I carry, I go for long hikes, so I wanted big straps. And surprisingly enough, it totally fits inside my Osprey. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? I'm a digital nomad. If you look back here, 
you've got this extra room. And what I keep in here is, this is one of the best things I've ever purchased, okay? This is my pack safe, my pack safe travel safe. It weighs less than one pound, and it's just a bag with wire mesh. And so when I'm staying in sketchy places, I can put everything inside of here and just cinch it. You just grab it here and you can cinch it shut and use this wire to close it and tie it to a bed frame, tie it to something. So when I go out, it's not gonna stop a professional thief, but it is gonna prevent like any hands in a hostel or maybe a cleaning lady from getting at my passport or maybe my Kindle or computer or something I wanna hide in there. And then back in this space here, I actually have my laptop. So isn't that great? You can fit that all in there. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that lovely? There's my MacBook Air, which is, you know, I'm a big fan of Mac. I hate their phones, but I love their computers, especially if you work online. And now I'm gonna get into how I pack the bag. All right, so now let's take a look at how I pack the bag. So I've got right on the top here, you wanna keep, you wanna keep the heaviest items in the top of the bag. So I put all my clothing and everything that's lightweight on the bottom because your weight, if you have everything heavy on the bottom, it's gonna maybe hurt your back a little bit. You don't wanna hurt your back, you're a digital nomad, you need your back. Okay. So this is the Sea to Summit uh, toiletry bag. I got it because it's nice and light, but everything I need is in here. And I like these bags because you actually have a hook. You have a hook, so when you're in a filthy hostel full of dirty backpackers, you don't have to let it touch the touch anything, you can hang up high. And inside, you know, you've got basic stuff, you know, you've got your uh, toothpaste and armpit powders and, oh, I'll tell you a little, I'll give you a little travel secret here, a little travel tip. This is baking soda and it is absolutely the greatest deodorant ever made. All you need to stay fresh and not stinky all day is one tiny pinch of baking soda on your armpit and you will not smell all day and I've tested this up mountains, at the gym, in stinky hot countries, and it's the best. That's all you need. I'm not gonna go into details about what's in my toiletry bag. You know, maybe you have your own special needs, but uh, so I've got my passports, money, things like that, and my Eagle Creek packet kit. I really like Eagle Creek, but I'm also just a big fan of organization. You can see here I've got this little kit here uh, just for all my miscellaneous stuff. It's just a junk drawer basically, and inside I keep things like notebooks and uh, first aid kit, some bandages and whatnot, and just miscellaneous things, jewelry, useful things like a bottle opener because I need that. Uh, this is duct tape, comes really in handy when you're traveling. So what you do if you wanna carry a lot of duct tape, just break off the edge of a pen and then take the duct tape off the big roll and wrap it around the pen. This comes in handy, trust me. A little bit of duct tape. And uh, what else we got in here? I find these really useful. These are these little clips for, little clips for when you have plastic bags and you wanna close the plastic bag, maybe you've got food in it, they come in handy. And everything in here is pretty lightweight, a little lighter. You're not supposed to bring these on airplanes, but they've never asked me to throw my lighter out for some reason. Anyway. Okay, at the top here we've got my electronics bag. It's just a old shaving kit and I'm not that organized but <clears throat> I have more packages inside and here I keep my GoPro, right? The GoPro that I'm filming on, the Hero 8, it's amazing. And inside I've just got little uh, things like my portable hard drive and this is probably the best portable hard drive that you can get as a digital nomad. The one terabyte or two terabyte SanDisk Look at how small it is and it's super light. And that's, uh, yeah, that's my, my Nomad hard drive, right? Inside I've also got things like a razor for shaving my little sexy beard. It's beautiful, I know. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Uh, you, know, you know, GoPro accessories, headphones. I've got this really cool Samson travel microphone which I've been using for podcasting. Look at how small it is. It's like a microphone for hobbits. You know, it's so small and light and it sounds a lot better than the microphone on my computer. So I use that for podcasting and live streaming when I'm talking to all you guys, all you digital nomads. Uh, GoPro accessories for charging, this is really useful. 
I'm gonna link to all this stuff below, guys. So if you don't want to waste time looking for all your own gear, you can just buy the stuff that I'm listing for you. Uh, I've got like a little anchor battery pack, which I honestly hardly ever use, but it could come in handy. And yeah, that's about it. More cables and stuff. Let's look at what else is in the bag here. Okay, this is just underwear. I've got two things for clothing. So I've got this one here, which is shirts and jackets and pants. And this one, which is underwear and things that cover up my tushy. So I'll just show you quickly. I don't have all my clothes in here because it's laundry day. But, you know, swim shorts, uh, buffs. Buffs, they, they are so useful. I think the buff is the most useful thing that I've ever purchased other than my pack safe because you can use it to be like blue man group if you want to do some miming or if you want to uh hide from the covid you know you can do this or be a bandage or you can warm your neck with it it's a limitless of things you can do uh, another just rag underwear and if you buy underwear you want to get this sort of synthetic underwear you don't want cotton because cotton especially in hot places like colombia or South America, Thailand, you're gonna sweat and your underwear is gonna stink. So you get like nylon, um, what do you call this stuff? Whatever, just synthetic. Get synthetic underwear because it doesn't stink. And this is really great. I love these sacks because they compress and you can put your clothes in them and you can compress them. This one's a Gonex, uh, but there's all, all types of brands. I'll just link to a few brands below. I'll call them compression sacks so you know what they are. But this is all the clothes I carry around the world, basically. What's on my body, lightweight synthetic clothing is the best, but I've got some cotton polo shirts, sportswear shirts because it's synthetic. It doesn't get too hot, it doesn't get too cold. But I like to have these shirts that are just made in Cambodia. You know, I wanna support the children of Cambodia, so I buy shirts from there. Uh, you've got little, you know, more clothes, more clothes. Synthetic pants, lightweight travel shorts. I like these shorts that are just not cotton because I can go swimming with this and then I can dry it in like half an hour in the sun, no problem. So anyway, more clothes, that's it. That's all my clothes and plus a little bit of warm wear. These are what I wear at night when I'm sleeping, when I'm curling up in my hostel bed with my hot cocoa. I want some nice comfy shorts. So I keep that there and one warm shirt, a synthetic, uh, synthetic sweater, athletic sweaters, because it gets cold often, even when you're in hot countries, you wanna have something warm. And this is, by the way, mostly packing for around the world to warm countries in the summertime. If it's winter, you might need jackets and more stuff. This is my toy, uh, sleeping bag. Very important for whenever I'm on a bus, whenever I come into a hostel, this is the first thing I, I, I take out of my bag because I've got everything for comfort in here. I've got a neck, inflatable neck pad, so I blow this up and I can put it around my neck for when I want to sleep on a plane or a train, you know, like iPad um, at night if I want to see. These are really, really useful. Head Headlamps. I like this headlamp, the Energizer one, because it has a red light. So if I'm in a hostel, I don't wake everybody up. Um, super useful. And of course, earplugs. Earplugs whenever you're in a hostel. And yeah. That's it, that always pops out first thing. I've got a travel towel. So you wanna get one of these spongy synthetic towels that don't really take a long time to dry. They're super lightweight. They, they don't uh, smell that much. You can use them many times before they start to sink, stink because they're antibacterial. They don't kill COVID, but they'll, they'll kill everything else, right? Okay, and then this is a nice little, um, Dry bag. Dry bags I use to put my laundry in, or if I'm going to the beach, if I'm gonna go swimming with manta rays or mermaids, you can you can put stuff in here and then you just close it like this, you twist it a few times and lock it. And now your dirty laundry or your electronics or anything that you wanna keep dry is in here. Yeah, really great. And here I've got, there's all kinds of brands you can get, but this is basically a packable rain jacket a packable windbreaker because you know I can make myself really warm if I layer up the few shirts I have and then and then I put one of these packable jackets over top so you want to always have one of these they don't take up much space I'll link to maybe North Face or Patagonia and in a jacket cuz I bought I bought this in Thailand I don't even know what brand it is but you can see it's just a packable jacket and really comes in handy 
And now because I'm, it's rainy season here in Medellin, Colombia, so I've got an umbrella. It's actually pretty heavy. I might find like a nicer travel umbrella, but I'll link the one because I like being dry. I don't like being soaking wet. And you've got these Samsonite locks. These, you don't want to lock your locker with these things or you're going to get robbed. But um, a little combination lock goes a long way. And in the very bottom, I just have another pair of pants. I travel with two pairs of pants and I use cotton, not jeans or synthetic material pants because as much as I love jeans, they just weigh too much. And when they get wet, they take forever to dry. So that's like a luxury item. So I use cotton pants and yeah, what else we got in here? Inside this bag, we also have these extra little compartments, which sometimes I put dirty laundry in. This one's good for the laundry actually, because it, it can air out. And really, that's it guys. That's everything that I use essentially to travel the world. Other than, uh, I've shown you everything except for the camera I'm recording on, but I'll put a link for that below, maybe to the 9. The 8 is a great camera, but the 9 has a front-facing camera, so you might want that instead. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. That's about it. Now I'm going to go and eat some huevos. Adios.